What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. I am live right now on Twitch. If you are watching this video on Thursday, April 30th, between the hours of 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am live with a marathon stream on Twitch. We are giving away over 200 Rebel Clash codes on Twitch today. It's going to be a blast. We're opening a ton of packs of Rebel Clash and building all brand new decks and streaming them all day. It's going to be a Rebel Clash marathon. Make sure to check it out. You are missing out if you have not checked out the Twitch channel already. Twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim, where I'm streaming live. Odds are right now. So go ahead and check that out. The link will be in the description below. Here is a video that we streamed last night. Some tabletop Rebel Clash action for you all. We've got two exciting decks. Galarian Weezing versus Toxtricity VMAX. Both new cards out of the Rebel Clash set. Enjoy the gameplay. What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Matt Price. How's it going? We are at Full Grip Games. We're going to be showing off some Rebel Clash decks in today's Tabletop gameplay on my side of the field. I have got Toxtricity VMAX mm -hmm. with the new Garbodor. It's got an ability uh, which makes it so that if you have a stadium in play, you can leave your opponent's active Pokemon poison and you can deal just huge numbers with Toxtricity VMAX, who mm -hmm. easily has one of the coolest VMAX artworks I think I've ever seen. It looks insane. Yeah, looks insane. Yeah. Now, Matt, you've got something special on your side of the field we haven't seen before. Go ahead and tell us about it. So we got Galarian Weezing. Galarian Weezing and his neutralizing gas makes it so if he's in your active, your opponent, uh, their Pokemon don't have any abilities. Um, except for neutralizing gas, of course. Um, it's attack, severe poison. Uh, makes it so it just poisons your opponent's active, puts four damage counters on it in between turns uh, instead of one. Uh, we also got some Toxicroaks in here with his ability. Uh, puts two additional poison damage in between turns and so you can do 40 60 80 100 damage uh for poison in between turns um and the cool thing about playing galarian wheezing is that we get regular wheezing uh so i have opted to play regular wheezings and the blow away bomb coughings uh, as well as roxy to kind of just put in a little bit of extra damage throughout the game get some more damage on the board make it a little bit easier also i think it helps with your math a little bit you can probably math out uh, knockouts coming back into your turn a little bit better uh, just by adding adding in that a little bit of extra damage around the board. I uh, got some spear tombs for some cleanup damage. Um, and then just a bunch of consistency cards. Got some dust islands. Uh, whenever your either player switches their poison active Pokemon to their bench with the effect of a trainer card, the new active Pokemon is now affected by that. So get around switch. It's awesome. You know, make it make it harder for your opponent to get rid of that poison. And um we're going to see what Galarian Weezing can do. I'm excited. It's not often yeah. that we see status condition decks really make their way into the mainstream. And, uh, For sure. It's been a long time. I yeah. think so, yes. Shock Lock is kind of the most infamous one right, right. now in expanded, expanded. formats. Uh, but status conditions are a lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. Poison. Specifically, I'm trying to think back. And like no toxic laser. No toxic laser. That was, was more probably like the most a, infamous poison. For sure. You know that the Pokemon trading card game has ever seen. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, there was, there's Muck and Alola Muck Tag Team GX, which yes. kind of uh, saw some niche play mm -hmm. in Mewtwo decks because of its ability mm -hmm. to knock out uh, Galarian Obstagoons, really. Right. Uh, because Galarian Obstagoons Obstruct Attack does not prevent uh, special conditions. Mm -hmm. It only prevents damage from basic right. Pokemon. Now, while we're shuffling up, want to mention we have got... Uh, codes available for Rebel Clash. If you're looking to play on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, we've got them available for instant delivery now on FullGripCodes.com. So make sure to check out the site. We are also going to be streaming all day. By the time this video goes out, uh, we will be streaming all day mm -hmm. on Twitch for the Rebel Clash set drops. So make sure to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Tricky Jam, if you're watching on YouTube. And uh, we've also got singles. Rebel Clash singles available at FullGripGames.com and supporting the shop directly supports the content we create here on Tricky Gym. So thank you so much to everybody who's already gotten mm -hmm. their Rebel Clash swag from Full Grip. Now, what are your? Uh, have you done some test hands with this? I now? have not. I, I I I did a few just to make sure that the deck could um, reliably get some basic Pokemon out. Sure. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> that's you know, about it. I got to through turn one of uh, my turn, 
in my my little shadow boxing games. There and you then, go. Uh, you know, and at least I know that for the most part, we're gonna be getting we're gonna be getting the Pokemon out okay. That sounds good. Yeah, we're just you know the results. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I thought about putting a couple things in here, like a Evil Tall GX. Sure. Thought about Sable IV. Um, but I, just, I decided I was just gonna go with Weezing. We're gonna see what Weezing can do. And Spiritomb, you know, and you Spiritomb. got some backup attackers too. Yep, yep. For sure, we got regular Weezing. Love that I can play regular Weezing and Clary. That's so sick. Yeah. It's very cool. All right, Tails. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Yeah, call him Tails. It is I Tails. I will go first. All right. Now, the cool thing from what I've seen so far about the Toxtricity V Max deck is just mm -hmm. consistent. Um, plays a lot of draw supporters. Three, four, five. Uh, plays Speed Lightning Energy. Um, there's no Jirachi Engine or anything like that in the deck. It's just pure draw power. Mm -hmm. And you just get a big Pokemon into play and you start slugging away with it. And that's just. Uh, you know, uh, there's not really any more tricks to it other than mm -hmm. that. So we're just going to see if It's a very straightforward deck. Yes, it is very straightforward. And that can be refreshing sometimes just to, you know, get your uh, your strategy to mm -hmm. just execute uh, every time. And, and it's also just the nature of the deck as well. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're trying to set up um, three, four, five, six, seven. We're trying to set up uh, not only a VMAX Pokemon, but we're also trying to set up a stage one in order to inflict poison. Right. Um, you know, there's just not really a lot of room for, mm -hmm. you know, bells, whistles, and things like that. So we just uh, kind of have the straightforward nature of the deck, and that's it. All right. Good luck, man. Good luck and have fun. Starting with Trubbish to your Spear Tomb and Coffin. I will uh, draw for turn. And, uh, cool my... thing is, we're both kind of playing a poison deck. We are both <laughs> kind of playing poison deck versus poison deck. All Very right. Cool. This is uh, not the starting hand you want to see going first. Uh, I've not been able to find any of my uh, good cards. So I'll take uh, Marnie and this card off. Sure thing. And uh, we actually just have to pass. Oh, well, Andrew, I have some. Can you knock me out? I can knock you out. How can you do that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and building spite. On my spirit team, put a damage counter on it, <laughs> and then I'm going to attach a rainbow, rainbow energy, energy. <laughs> and then I will anguish cry for 70 damage to knock out your troublish. Bro. Oh my goodness. Oh no, just a handful of supporters. I had two research. Right, you can't play those on the first turn anymore, unfortunately. Nope. Insane. That was one thing I made sure when Invincible I was building the Invincible wheezing. <laughs> it does not lose. Oh. One and zero, undefeated. Undefeated wheezing undefeated deck. Undefeated with the wheezing deck. The filthy dunk. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Yeah, there he is. I mean, I have acro bikes, four Pokemon mm -hmm. communications, four quick balls. Right. You can't play any more consistency. Than you that. really can't. And yeah. that was something yeah. I, you know, I made sure building the deck was: can I consistently get my stuff out? You know, being able to play, uh, having the access to a psychic type. Krogunk and Mysterious Treasure, and that gives you another way to kind of search things for out. For sure, just, for sure. You know, I put a lot of search into this deck, but even you can put as much search as you want, but sometimes you just get hands where it just doesn't give it to you. For sure, for sure. Yeah, that lack of turn ones. I just got done playing in the uh, Pokestats mm -hmm. 2017 format tournaments, and uh, yeah, getting to play supporters turn one, going first. Mm hmm. Feels real good. <laughs> I have to say, uh, it does feel real good, and it's funny how the tides have turned on going first. Mm -hmm. I feel like as I've been playing in this uh, new formats with uh, you know with the option to go first or second, mm -hmm. unless you're playing ADP, going second feels better for a lot of decks. I uh, have to say, just because you know getting that supporter is so it's so important, so yeah. crucial. All right, now now here's the you know do I choose to go for? I'm choosing to go first. He's choosing to go first again. Here it comes. I numbers. believe in you this time. I think <laughs> I think that we can. You got this. I. I do not have a base. So That's I'm good. I'm gonna need out. that mulligan. There's that Dust <laughs> Island. Got a Galarian Weezing. Nothing to start though. It's all right. I have another lackluster opening hand, but it's all right. It's fine. If you start with one of those uh, big Pokemon V. He's got more than sixty hit points. More than seventy. There hit you points, go. Yes. So. I think uh, the odds of me getting donked by the... Your deck's full of stage ones. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that was one reason I do like the spirit team a lot in this deck, is just being able to, you know, take, you know, quick knockouts out of nowhere, just being able to do a reasonable amount of damage. Very quickly. Having an efficient attacker means a lot. Absolutely. Right. And thank you so much, Sean, our very own Sean Lydon, with the, uh, the uh, gifted sub in the chat. 
Ooh, Thank you so much for supporting the channel, Sean. That's not what I wanted to right, start. I will say okay. Mulligan. Good luck and have fun, yes, Andrew. Also to you. And I will draw for turn. Ah, yes, the one of the one of the Dene. I just put this in too. <laughs> just <laughs> added into the deck. And it's already coming back. Just in back. case. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I have zero aura, and I think I'm just going to attach lightning to zero aura, and I have to pass. All right. It's not too bad. Draw for turn. Opening hand is a little lackluster, but we'll start out with a quick ball. Um, make sure, just check everything. I have a limited number of everything. A lot of things to look for in the deck. Now, do you have like an ordinary rod or anything like that? In the there deck? is an ordinary rod. I had two in here before. I just cut one. Okay. But there are, there is one. We definitely, you know, I think I built this to be very fast, very aggressive. I'm discarding cards a lot. I'm doing a lot of things. I'm going to ditto Prism Star. For sure. And um, also playing all the Quick Balls, Mysterious Treasure, you're going to end up yeah. discarding cards. I'll play, so. you know, four Professor's Research still. I'm just going to be discarding yeah. a lot of cards, and I've kind of accepted that. So, uh, Roxy discarding, you know, coughings sometimes, wheezings other times. Uh, For sure. Yeah, so, so, you just want to be able to get those. Back. For sure. Yep. Um, go ahead. We are going to... Play. Yo, you got the turn one, Roxy. Roxy. Dude. Okay. I'm gonna discard a Weezing and also discard the Galarian Weezing. I did see my ordinary around the deck. So sure. That seems good with me. I'll draw six cards. You'll place Put ten. A damage counter on everybody. Okay. One, two, three. Now I do love the Roxy engine in decks that play a lot of Pokemon. It just seems like it. Uh, you know, it's such an explosive draw right. card. Draw six from the top of your deck when you already have a pretty sizable hand is uh really aggressive draw it's uh it's great for a deck like this i think and and then also just having the wheezing synergy the fact that it's just right. wheezing like a, a wheezing featuring wheezing deck is so <laughs> sick it's just very cool i think it's i think it's a little funny i think it's i think it's pretty fun i'm having a good time with the deck already a few little hands i opened up with i think it's very fun funny wheezing deck a little building spite yes you ain't do it all right We'll draw for turn, and I do not have a backup energy in my hand, so I'm going to have to play a draw supporter. Got to switch into the Zero Aura, though, mm -hmm. and uh, I do have my copy of Thunder Mountain. Thunder Mountain. The Montana Trevahante. Yes, the, Mon the Montana Trevahante. And then, uh, yeah, I cannot do anything with my boss's order, so we're mm -hmm. just going to play Marnie. All right. Shuffle up our big hands. And then, unfortunately, I had some deck. good stuff in my hand. And I'm All just right. looking for a lightning energy. So if I can find a lightning off these next five, that'd be that'd just be fantastic. Four, five. Okay. Well, we're not there yet, but it's cool. I do have the Viridian. A little bit of, you know, insult to injury there. Cannot. Yeah, since I put the uh, Thunder Mountain down. I <laughs> can't Viridian Forest. Cannot Viridian Forest. So I think that uh, we're probably looking at a day-to-day -day change here. I do have. Uh, the Trubbish, which isn't honestly going to make a big deal. I probably don't even have to. You set probably it. don't even need to. You probably, I think, yeah. using the Weezing only has 130 HP, so I think you're just one shotting it. For sure. I'm going to Quick Ball. And we're going to look for, I think, Dedenny GX. Seems good. See if that's in the deck. Yes, we've got a couple of Dedennys in the deck. And then we're just going to end up DD changing out of this hand. Look to try and get a couple of. Toxtricities as mm -hmm. well. That would be good to start setting those guys up, For getting sure. them out, getting ready to evolve. And you do have a little bit of time, just because my Acrobite. deck is just inherently slower. For but. sure. Okay, and I do find Quick Ball and a Lightning Energy. I could just be full on greed. I don't know. What do you think? Full on greed? Yeah, we just full on greed. Yeah, full on greed. Yeah. full on greed. For sure. It's helping. You get in the yeah. discard pile for I'm the saying. cocoa. Yeah. I'm gonna Quick Ball away the Trubbish as well, and I think I'm just gonna set up. A couple of toxicities on my bench, and then the idea is that hopefully I can kind of, uh, you know, get mm -hmm. some, uh, get some, yeah, get a kind of a smooth situation between, you know, maybe a couple toxicity V maxes and zero mm -hmm. aura, and then use the uh, thunderclap zone ability to be able to pivot between mm -hmm. multiple toxicities, and uh, you know, that way if I retreat, mm -hmm. I remove the poison, right? Yes. With the if dust, you, if you if retreat, the dust yes. Is in play? Yes. yes All right. The dust so gonna, was in play. Three. Four, five, six, and thankfully I did not get super punished there. We did find a lightning energy, so Very good. that's good. And I'm going to be able to knock out this to Denny and skip ahead a bunch of prizes, so that's good. Uh, I could also Venom Slap. I could, could. Uh, I could 
What does that do? What does venom slap? Just poison? It's 120 out? and poison. Actually, no, I'm not taking a knockout then if we do that. So we definitely mm -hmm. are going to go plasma fist sure. here. I'm going to attach that. And there's not really any other Pokemon that I feel like I need this mm -hmm. turn. So I'm just going to plasma fist for cool. knockout and hope that that Perfect. is going to be uh, enough to kind of carry me. Right. And hopefully my Thunder Mountain sticks for another turn. That'd be great. All right, All right let's draw for turn. Doing okay right now. It's a pretty good top deck. Um, go ahead and play Pokemon Communications. Get rid of a Blow Away Bomb Weezing. Um, I realize I... Uh, I had both my Dust Silence in my hand when you marty me. Ah. Very unfortunate. I but. realized, like, I wanted... I said, yeah, my, my strategy is primarily going to be to, I think, retreat between multiple, you know, VMAXs, but you can turn off my Thunderclap Zone. I can. Yeah, with yes. the Weezing. With the Weezing. Yes, for sure. Yes. Weezing will also turn off your Dance of the Ancients. Yes. So... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly true. Yes. But I, I didn't want to use the Tapu Koko yet because I only have one Lightning. I like really want to try and maximize my use of that. So well, Let's see here. I got a U-turn board. We're going to attach that to the Spirit Team. I don't have any other tools in the deck, so... Just whatever I feel like could give me the most mobility. I'm pretty sure Toxicroak is one retreat cost. <laughs> I can look it up. Can you look that up? I'm pretty yeah. sure, because that's Do why I played have... the U-turn board over the air balloon. I'm oh, sure. okay. I was going to say, you have actually real tox yes. Toxicroaks in the deck, I right? do, but I, I'm not going to look in my deck. It's just not I'm pretty right sure now, yeah. that he has one retreat. He does, he does have, have one retreat. retreat. Right, Beautiful. Yeah, confirmed, yeah. Not All a right. card that we spend a lot of time studying. I'm not right. going to lie. Yep. We got a Galarian <laughs> Weezing. We got a U-turn board on Toxicroak, and I got a Professor's Research for Nice. It's a good draw cards. off of Marnie. For yeah. Sure. Very good cards off of that Marnie. Oh, man. We are cooking with gas. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Acrobike, let's see here. I'm um, Roxy or a Spirit Tomb. I'm feeling like we're gonna get rid of the Spirit Tomb. I have a Marnie for next turn. I don't know. The Spirit Tomb seemed really good in this matchup. Spirit Tomb does seem really good. I just uh, having having access to him. I, I have one in play. 160 damage. 160 so damage insane. Pretty good. Stealing a lot of damage. I can't get it back with the ordinary run later. So I'll leave myself with the option to Roxy. No, we'll just get rid of Roxy. We'll yeah, 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 yeah. Spirit Team City out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we saw how good he was in that last That's what that I'm saying. He won you the last game. All right, we're yeah. going to go ahead, bench a Krogonk. We will, building Spite. Good thing about Galarian Weezing is he only affects you and not me. On, like, uh, say, like, Wobbuffet. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah the Galarian Weezing. Uh, it's not a double-sided ability lock. Mm -hmm. um, it's just your opponent's Pokemon yep. have no abilities. Very strong. All right. So I have a Ditto in play. I think we are actually going to Pokemon Communication, put the Spirit Tomb back in the... I could bench it. I could get rid of the Coughing. I have the Ditto to evolve next turn. That seems that good. That seems good. Yep. I'll keep the Spirit Tomb. Maybe we'll just build some Spite. That's what I think. And then you just um, like you get them up to about five. And I don't have any good. way to, you know, you don't have any way to ramp those spirit tombs, right. you know, damage counters. I mean, it's rainbow, mm -hmm. but like you don't have any of the jinxes or anything like that mm -hmm. that kind of swap, right. you know, the damage counters around and kind of accelerate that. So I think it's important to get those spirit tombs down early against these uh, VMAX decks. Can't evolve that anyway. Let's see. Let me cut my glaring weezings and my toxic groups real quick. I have more toxic ropes in the deck. I can't evolve either of them this turn. I can evolve the Ditto into the Galarian Weezing. I think that's just good. Which seems good. Yeah. Um, couldn't evolve the toxic ropes, so we'll just get another Weezing out uh, just in case something happens. For sure. Uh, we'll do that. I attached that last turn, so I do have an attachment for this turn. Um, so I might just go ahead and throw on the Weezing here. Seems good. Bench another Spirit Tomb, build some Spite, and then we're going to play Dust Island. <sighs> Man. And uh, the this is a good looking board, man. I'd say All so. Right. If you didn't start that today, man. Didn't start that today, but that's okay. Maybe we'll, we'll see if those two prizes matter in the long term. So, we're Galarian gonna... Weezing, Severe Poison. Severe Poison. You are now poisoned, Andrew. You got Your this. Poison Marker. And then uh, you're going to take four damage counters instead of one. Got you. it. And no abilities. And no abilities. All right. I'll draw. We've got a... That's a little bit sketch. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And you also got rid of my stadium. Yes. I did, yes. It's all very and I believe that Plasma Fist says this Pokemon can attack. attack. All that right, is that seems pretty part good. Of the deal. That is part <laughs> of the deal. Yes, yes, indeed. I think at this point, I would like to. 
Yeah, we're going to quick ball away my Marnie. Sure. Just go get um, another Pokemon. We're going to get a Toxtricity B, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to use the Pokemon communication to trade Toxtricity B. I'm mm -hmm. just going to go get a couple of B maxes into play. That seems good. Uh, just to kind of establish the board. There's no they're such there. thing. They're there. As, they are out of the deck. Yes. Yeah, so there's no such thing as like uh, you know strong punishment or anything like that. It's, you know. Or great catch. There's like no downfall mm -hmm. to just getting those right. rolled up. Like it's just you might as well. Uh, they got 320 HP, you know, and it's just some some big dudes. Now I have my boss's orders in my hand, and it's unfortunate because I cannot use. Uh, um, I cannot. Mm -hmm. Gosh, the Dust Island's gonna make it so that I keep the poison too. That's yeah. so insane. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I can't use boss's orders to play around your uh, wheezing right now. You have mm -hmm. one card in hand, right? I have one card in hand. Because I definitely have to draw a uh, card. So I think I'm going to put Boltund on the bench. Sure thing. Just in case I end up using it. Electro Power. And we're just going to use Professor's Research Seems to draw good. seven cards. Right. Boss's orders? Like Boltund. you said, can. You know, that's the one way to get around Galarian Weezing. For sure. The biggest way you can, but you have to be able to follow it up with something. You got to follow yeah. it up with a day day change. You got to follow it up with something else. A and switch. Speed Lightning Energy on Boltund. Draw two more cards. And we do not have a stadium. So when I play this. Now, if I retreat, the Boltund is not poisoned. Bo yes, yeah, so if, you, if you manually retreat the Zero Aura, your Boltund will not be poisoned. Worth thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's a All consideration. Right. Yes, I will. Uh, I think. Mm -hmm. Hard. I mean, it's, I'm taking a lot more damage if I if I do not. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think I'm going to hard retreat the Zara Aura sure. into Boltund. We're just Sounds going to good. let those go, and I'm going to use Boltund V and its Electrify uh, mm -hmm. attack to go get some Lightning Energy onto one of my bench Toxicity. Seems there. pretty good. Yep. All right. So, you're not playing this anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and draw for turn. Use a mysterious treasure. It doesn't do me a whole lot of good. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to play Marnie. It's my supporter for turn. Put the mysterious treasure back on the bottom of the deck. Maybe we'll use that later. I'll get Are five. You using Marnie? I'm play Marnie, okay. yes. Okay, cool. Yes, yes, sir. Got it. Four, five cards here. Uh, and four for me. And four for you. I uh, go ahead and play an Acrobike. Definitely going to discard this Roxy. Because I can have a Toxicroak. We'll go ahead and involve Toxicroak. Uh, build some spite. Yeah, those guys are scary. Starting to ramp up. There's, they're getting there. Very slowly but surely. So we're going to go ahead. We will attach to this Spear Tomb. And uh, we will Severe Poison once again. This time you will take six in between turns. All right. Draw. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we got here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to swap my real Toxic Oh, Max. very nice. Yes, very I have nice. a real one. Yes, uh, for the uh, proxied one. And then, high uh, production value. I know, right? Yes. I just, I love it. It's one of my favorite cards from the set. It, it looks, looks great. So pretty. So uh, I've got the Counter Stadium, which is great. I also got an Acrobike of Speed Lightning. So I think I'm probably, you know, my abilities are locked. So mm -hmm. that's, that's a thing. A little bit frustrating. I'm going to Acrobike first to give mm -hmm. me, you know, more options, just kind of knowing, you know, what's going on with these. And I have to admit, uh, that ability lock is pretty tough. It's definitely right. rough to play around. We're going to do Speed Lightning on the Bolt Hunt and draw two cards. And then uh, I've got an Electro Power, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put the Viridian into play. All right. And we're just going to use Professor's Research to discard a hand and sure thing. draw seven cards. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Now, the speed lighting energy is coming in the clutch. For right sure. Now. Definitely. Now, what's frustrating is that I can't actually get out of this poison. Mm. Um, well, I can. I can play switch. Without attacking. Uh, actually, I have double switch. But mm. do I want to waste all those switches? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like now that I have uh, the stadium gone, the double switch actually does get me cured of poison, which mm -hmm. will save me 60 damage, which mm -hmm. is quite a bit. You could potentially, I don't think you got Roxy double wheezing in that hand, to be honest. Um, so you're, there's just no chance of you knocking me out this next mm -hmm. turn, but I do think potentially the double switch could be good. So we're going to switch and switch again All right. to get the bolt hunt back out. Sure thing. Clear the poison, and uh, yes, we are going to you, what is it? 3, 6, 9, 12, and uh, plus 10. Plus 10 is that exactly yep. enough. And I, I electro power too, I believe. Okay. So, yeah. Well, definitely enough. Then. Using Bolton's Bolt Storm there for right. knockout. 
Super good. Go ahead and promote Toxicroak with his U-turn board. Oh, nice. Very good. Top deck a Ordinary Rod. So I can start putting some stuff back into the deck if I so chose, which I will probably end up choosing. Uh, I'm just going to figure out what I want to put back in the deck. So I have another coughing in my hand. Um, will I need another wheezing? I don't think so. I think since with three prizes left, uh, knock on the wheezing, and I'm going to have to start attacking with Spirit Tune probably. Um, maybe just keep one in the background for later. Could be good. I have two glaring wheezing in the discard pile. I have one in my hand. So I'm going to play the ordinary run. We're going to shuffle in one Galarian Weezing and the Coughing. Because I have more Quick Balls left in the deck for later. And then I want to shuffle in Energy. One, two, three, four. How many do I play? Six, eight. So I have four left in the deck. I could put another Energy in. All my attackers are pretty Energy efficient. And there's a Viridian in play, though. So I think that's fine. I might just shuffle these two back. Seems in. reasonable. We'll shuffle those two back in. Um, and I'll even go ahead and use the Viridian Force now to discard the Galarian Weezing and get an energy out of the deck. Probably should have done that first to double check my energy, but I don't think I'll be needing that much for the rest of the game. So probably not. We'll just be we'll just be chilling. So this goes in the scar pile. This goes into my hand. I'm going to go ahead and bench a coughing just in case. Attach to the spirit tomb sure. to play Professor's Research. Seems good. And this deck uh, is drawing very well, I will say. Especially, you know, with no Jirachi engine, anything like that. Definitely seems Unfortunately, like Unfortunately, no room for it. No, right. Yeah, yeah. You see all the Pokemon you haven't played. Right. Uh, it's not really the luxury of space. Build some spite here. Let's see, I'm doing 4, 12, 130. Ooh, just slightly short of being able to knock out your Bolton. Um, I did have like a Kogus Trap in here at one point just to do that. I thought about playing Garboder just to get that, but I, right. I don't think you really need it. Right, right. It's kind of like a, a Roxy will clean it up later. I could just come in now with the Spirit Tomb, put it at 190, and then try and Roxy. I only have one Roxy left in the deck, I think. Let's find out. I'm going to play Evolution Incense. See if I even have the Roxy. I do have a Roxy in my deck. Alright. That's something. So hitting the bolt on to put in it to 190 could... Could be good. Yeah. Could be something we consider. Do I, does it really matter if you use your ability? You can use the Dance of the Ancients. Right now you're poisoning me for 100. I am poisoning you for 100. Then you have to knock out my wheezing. And then with that manual attach, we'll probably just attack with the wheezing here. This uh, seems reasonable. Seems fine to me. Thank you so much, Tug of War, for those 100 bits. Go ahead and retreat my guy. Go into the Galarian wheezing. Gotta love a deck that plays U turn board, also. Just such a good card. It is such a good card. You know? Being able to reuse it. Not a lot of space to play a lot of like escape boards or anything. So having one U-turn board and then just in case. Right. Seems pretty good to me. Uh, not much else I can do. We're going to Severe Poison once again uh, for... Yeah, we're taking 100, right? We're taking 4... 8. 80. 80, okay. Yes. Yes, math. It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> well, especially if, uh, if you're me. Okay, so... I can, uh, fortunately, I have bosses orders this turn, so we can actually turn some abilities on. We're going to use Speed Lightning here to draw two cards. Very good. Those Speed Lightning energies are just so powerful. It's insane. Insane card. And then we do have bosses orders, and I for sure just have my eyes on, I think, uh, the Spear Tomb, mm -hmm. because that thing can just do a ton of damage. So we're going to bring that up, and when we bring the Spear Tomb up, we break the uh, ability lock as mm -hmm. well. So I'm going to be able to retreat my Bolt Hunt, which kind of keeps it uh, out of harm's way, and it doesn't right. keep poison damage or anything like that. I'm going to retreat into Toxtricity VMAX, who can do 160 damage, and we're going to use Tapu Koko's Dance of the Ancients while we're here. Might as well. Since I also have that ability back online, we're going to put... I think an energy onto my bench toxicity V Max, and we're gonna put an energy onto Dedenny GX just because I could, you could static tingly, shock. You could uh, tingly return. Or well. tingly return, yes, both options. 
uh, for me. So we're just going to do that. Hand is pretty good. I don't. I'm just going to make sure that I thin. Uh, quick ball. Get rid of the trubbish. Not going to need that. Check what resources I have left in the deck. And we're just going to G Max Riot with the Toxicity V Max and take a knockout or nice spear too. No, I don't play anything like Boss's Orders. I didn't find the room for it, but I would definitely love to have it. The idea is that, you know, they're just switching and you just keep the poison in play anyway. Right, and then you Roxy things, right? And then you right? Roxy yeah. things. Mm -hmm. I think it just kind of adds up eventually, but... Right, right. I think having a Boss's Order or two would probably be pretty good. Uh, now we got this big, scary VMAX guy in here. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't have any damage on him, He does not have any damage on him. <laughs> I was hoping to get, you know, the Dust Mountain to stick just one more turn, maybe. But that's okay. Let's see what we can do here. Um, let's see what we can do here. I know I'm in the Krogan complaint. My hand's kind of just full of Pokemon. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm going to bench this Ranguru. We're going to go ahead and Primate Wisdom. See what I get. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Just hoping to get that last Roxy that was in the deck, but it doesn't seem like it was in the cards. I could balloon burst at some point if I really wanted to, but is that an attack on your? It's on the blow away bomb wheezing. <laughs> There's balloon burst. I have rainbows in the deck, so I could, in theory, do that. Let's go ahead and build some spite. Sure. So we're back up here. Now whatever I send up is gonna get knocked out. For sure. For Toxtricity sure. is just hitting for 160 damage every turn from it's here on It's pretty good. It's pretty hard to deal with. <laughs> for sure. Let's see. What do we want to do? Uh, I can start attaching energy if I want. So we'll attach... Maybe I, I could balloon burst, I guess. can attack with Toxicroak. I can attack with a Rangaru. That's three turns around. I got two prizes left. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> We'll evolve them too. Why not? Sure. I think this one might be might Lost be over. Cause. Yeah. But you know we're gonna get him in there. Let's see. Do I want to attack with Spirit Tomb? I'll just keep attacking. All right. We'll clean him up later. All right. Eighty. Eighty. Yeah. The severe the poison. poison. And no abilities. No abilities. All right. Drop it here. And uh, let's see here. I do want the Speed Lightning Energy, so we're just going to play that onto my bench. Toxtricity. Um, hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to play this onto my, yeah, Dedenne GX. It seems good. Seems fine. Yeah, draw two cards. And then I'm going to use Boss's Orders, bring up the Spear Tomb. Oof. Uh, that gives me free retreat. And we're just going to retreat to the Toxtricity V Max, bring up Dedenne. And I could go for the Tingling Return. Good. Um, I think, uh, yeah. You know what? Let's just uh, let's tingly return GX. All right. Take a prize. Yeah, I think. I think that's gonna, gonna be it. Promote. <laughs> I think that's gonna be it. I, I do think that's probably gonna be it. Promote bolt on. That's fine. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, think I think we're just gonna pack it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's not yeah. enough. Right. My spirit tombs are gone. <laughs> My spirit tombs are gone. Oh, they were <laughs> there when I needed them. Yes. That's all right. It seemed, it seemed fun. We were getting there, though. We were getting there. We were there. getting there. Slowly but surely, we were going to get there. Now, I believe you were calling this deck in, in uh, passing your haha -ha funny poison yes, deck. Yes, the ha, ha funny poison <laughs> deck. It's, just, it's very funny. It's, you poison them, and it's very funny when you poison them. Absolutely. Sometimes when they play a switch, uh, the poison just stays on them. Yes. So it's just fun. It's funny. I like building these kinds of things. Certainly I have fun. a lot of fun. It stretches. You know, I, I feel like it gets my, uh, my deck building muscles. Absolutely, Flexing, you absolutely. Know. It's one of my, uh, you know, one of my favorite days of the week is when we mm -hmm. play. Uh, we call it uh, Fun Deck Thursday. Ah, there you go. Sometimes we call it Tier Three Thursday. Very good. Yes, yeah, so we play our fun decks, yes. and uh, you wouldn't, you'd be very surprised at the kinds of mm -hmm. decks that end up uh, actually having some chops. And I, you know, a lot of my favorite decks end up coming mm -hmm. out of that day of the week. For sure. When we stream, yeah, they might not be like the best. They might not be able to hang with like your ADPsations and stuff, but you know, they're fun. They're cool. They're interesting and that's what i like about them i like i like the uh the challenge of, right. of building a deck like this for sure now let's see would you like to go first second map i will go first i think that seems reasonable i think that seems pretty good i got a lot of pokemon to evolve a lot of pokemon to evolve i'm gonna try and evolve all of them. all right here we go all right 
The tingly return. Or the tingly return I have to say, too much. Also, zero aura GX's GX attack. Now that seems like it's like a viable GX attack. Yeah. It's weird, like getting into all these VMAX decks, right? Mm -hmm. Like Toxtricity VMAX, you don't really have to GX attack. I mean, your GMAX Riot can just do what, 240 right. damage base. That's mm -hmm. like not a GX attack. Right. The GX it's attacks insane. are, you know, a lot of these like more utility GX attacks are could probably, you know, maybe find a home in some of these like VMAX decks where they don't have access to it, but it is a game mechanic, so you know, you feel like you should take advantage of it. Right. For sure. And uh Yeah, I think that uh I think that, you know, figuring out what kind of GX attacks really drive the best with right. some of these V Maxes is really important. Uh Go ahead, good luck. Right, good luck, um, have fun. Please don't knock out my trubbish. I cannot attack on turn <laughs> one going first, unfortunately, uh, but I would think about it if I could. Um, I don't have a whole lot going on in this hand. We got a coughing, we got a crow gunk. I'm very confident. Now, I say this every time, but I'm very confident that you will not be able to knock me out this turn. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, not exactly, but you could. And that's scary enough. Um, what do I want to do? I think I want to, like, I want, I have these Roxies in my hand. I really want a Roxy for full value next turn. But I also kind of want to get the Ditto into play or another Crow Gunk. So that's kind of tough. I think we're just going to end up going with Quick Ball here. Get rid of a Roxy. Grab the Ditto. Give us some utility on next turn. Being able to... Get out a toxic croak or a coughing, whatever, whatever we need at the time. Another uh, another deck I was thinking about, you know, the mm -hmm. Dragapult V Max deck. Yeah. Uh, as far as like what GX attack would be really good in there, uh, we've been playing uh, Takuya Yoneda's list on cool. stream recently. My turn. Yep. And uh, there's not exactly a uh, there's not even a GX option uh, right. in that deck in mm -hmm. Takuya Yoneda's list. So let's take a look at it, and uh, you know, the list that I have cooked up for tonight's stream mm -hmm. has a very thin Malamar line in it, and uh, a Latios GX. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Latios GX is going to end up being like uh, um, a game changer. A game changer there. You could, I mean, with all the switches that are in mm -hmm. that deck, you could theoretically get the turn sure. one, um, you know, pretty easily. You get the turn one Latios in order to. Uh, Clear vision. Yeah, clear vision GX against ADP. Mm -hmm. All right, just Pretty taking good. a look here. Uh, Pokemon communication. I got a Dedenne in my hand. I have prized Bolton, so I'm not going to be able to accelerate energy that way. But if I get enough energy into my discard pile, uh, Zero Aura GX becomes pretty uh, useful. So I think we could do that. I could go turn one full voltage GX mm -hmm. and get a bunch of uh, lightning energy into play. So we're going to try and go for something like that. If that's be lightning energy in my mm -hmm. hand and a switch. So Seems we can good. get it into the active position. We're going to give that a shot. Speed lightning. And Sounds good. See what happens. Yes, I do like this. Uh, we've got Viridian Forest. Seems and good. I can um, use that Viridian to go just get another lightning in the deck even more. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to switch and data change and try to pull voltage GX onto some of our bench. That seems pretty strong. Seems pretty good. Yep, and we're going to Electro Power just to play it. Might Switch, well. yeah. Zero Aura, and Data Change. Draw six cards. Two Lightning in the discard pile now. Three, four, five, six. Okay. So let's... Ooh, yeah, that's fine. Acrobike? Sure. Oh, the Research. Very good. Yes. So let's take that. And then mm -hmm. we would like to Quick Ball away another Lightning and go get ourselves a Toxtricity V. Seems good. Put on to the bench. And then I believe a research is in order. I've got a Toxicity B Max in my hand. Drawing so many cards in the Speed Lightning Energy, Data Change, Acrobikes. Acrobike. Yep. Oh yep. my goodness. Let it rip. Seven more cards. My lord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. So now I've got another. Yep, this is pretty strong looking hand. Um. Got quick ball. Sounds good. Another lightning energy. Just go get ourselves second. Ooh. A second what, Andrew? A second nothing. A second nothing. Because <laughs> your other ones are prized, Ooh. my man. All right. Ooh. So you got one toxicity. Well. 
<laughs> That's what you're working with right now. That's okay. That's okay. He's going to have a lot of HP. Totally fine. Yeah. He's going to have a lot of HP. He's going to have a lot of HP. He's going to do enough damage. And, you know, sometimes that's just enough. All right. And, yeah, so we're looking at a turn one full voltage. We've got four lightning energy in the discard pile turn one, so that's pretty good. And mm -hmm. we're going to full voltage GX. All right. Uh, put, I think... Three onto the toxicity mm -hmm. D and one onto the zero. zero aura in the active. And Seems pretty good to me. Yep. That's just going to be my turn. All right. Sounds good. Hoping to top deck a blow away bomb something. Did not. So if I did, I was going to have a Roxy turn. I would have Evolution Incense for the other blow away bomb. Wheezing or coughing or wheezing. Be able to Roxy for some extra damage. I don't think that's going to be in the cards this time uh, go ahead play an evolution incense gonna grab a toxic rope there he is grab him um, going to viridian forest as well sucks i had to get rid of two roxies early on but it is what it is we still got two more in the deck i say before i count how many are left in the deck there are two left in the deck we got a dark energy. I have a Galarian wheezing in my hand. I got a Toxicroak. We're feeling good. I got a research to go along with it too. All right. Deck is setting up. It is setting it up. It is setting up. I got a Spirit <laughs> Tomb. We're gonna build some spite. We're gonna evolve. We're gonna attach an energy. We'll evolve the Crow Gunk. Leave the Ditto just in case I don't get another coughing. Uh, and we will Professor's Research. Ideally, I would be getting another. Another a coughing and the toxic croak would be awesome. Four, five, six, and seven. Not quite get there on that. So we'll go ahead bench a second crow gunk. I could get another toxic croak into play, but that would leave me without a uh, wheezing. Or yes, without a way to evolve into a wheezing. That does not seem very good. I could go into spirit tune for a turn, I guess. Um, but. But we're just trying to avoid that, I think. Um, let's see here. What do I want to do? I can play a Dust Island now, but I think that's a little bit presumptuous. So I'm going to hold on to it and make you play something else, I think. Um, and I, might, I probably might want to Viridian next turn. We'll see. Um, so I got a Crow Gunk on the bench. I have that. I think we're going to go ahead, bench a bunch another crow gunk just to have it in play and so you're poison so 60 right for 60 yes cool all right drop a turn interesting now my ability is locked that's fine i've got some stuff i can do all right we're gonna pokemon communicates the shrubbish sure. out of here and just go get ourselves toxicity v max except sure. i'm gonna get that nice Real one out a of nice the discard real pile. One. Very good. <laughs> yeah, there's a nice real one. Fake one goes to the discard pile. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. If you played with proxies, you know the you know, you know the struggle. You've, <laughs> you've done that before. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna Pokemon communicate for the Toxtricity V Max. Seems good. And then uh, I do want to switch. I've got a couple of options. Things I can do. Um, the Spear Teams just seem like kind of the biggest pain for us. Um, but I don't actually have to knock it out right now. I can just switch. That's fine. And your mm -hmm. desert island's not in play. So we're just going to switch here to kick that poison, mm -hmm. save the zero aura, and we're going to G-Max Riot for knockout. Sure. Seems good. Don't have a way to retreat or anything, so we're just going to throw the ditto. Draw for turn. Research is interesting. I need to attach to what will be the wheezing. Could have come up and just hit you with the spirit tomb, I guess, but that's you know, okay. How many cards are in your hand, Andrew? I have four. You have four. All right. Um, I probably should have just promoted the spirit tomb because I have the rainbow. I could attach the rainbow and do that. Go ahead and do it. You sure? I do not care, man. All right. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll pretend he's spirit. Yeah, promoted the spirit tomb. We'll come up with the spirit tomb. Just because I have the rainbow, I just don't want to waste it. Um, yeah, we have 
have that, we have that. We'll go ahead and play an Evolution Incense now. I think the deck probably could use like a Kogus Trap or something. Some way to inflict just poison. Way, just another way to do it on turns when you go into Spirit Tomb, I sure. think. He probably, I had it in there, I took it out, I put it back in, I took it out. So, um, we'll go ahead and get another Toxic Croak into play now. For sure. And you're just looking at this one Toxic City, like, all right, I do have five prizes I have to take. Right. Game's going to be a lot slower. I'm not knocking out a Dene right. very quickly. A lot of time. Yeah. I'm going to attach a rainbow. I have a lot of time to kind of figure it out. For sure. Um, and that's, why, that's just what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to figure it out. How many cards did you see on your hand? Four. Four. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have the Dust Island. I could play the Dust Island and research, get rid of a Marnie and a Rainbow. Then I'm kind of down on that. I don't know if that, you know, get, being able to get another Spirit Tomb out with just doing a bunch of damage later. Um, but I don't want to put the Dust Island in play just because you could just put a Stadium into play and just kind of get rid of it before I get any value out of it. Um, My like hand's pretty saucy, cards. man. It's good. It's saucy. <laughs> it's a good hand, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play a supporter last turn? No. No. I <laughs> just gripping the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> just gripping the sauce. I can't tell if you're being serious. Uh, yeah. The I, bluff, guys. You have no idea. I have no idea. You can see my hand. I can't see your hand. I'm looking. The hand's the sauce, bro. The sauce. I got a boss's orders in my hand. What else do you That's want? That's pretty good. I'm just saying. Boss's orders, and I got a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a saucy yeah. hand. You have a saucy hand with the boss's orders. All right, because right, then you get to retreat. Oh. Uh, busted. That's yeah. pretty good. And I could use tap. Yeah, there's a bunch of things I could do. You can do a bunch of things next turn. Um, that's okay. I think I'm just going to play Marnie. I'm just going to play Marnie. I want to hold on to these cards. Let's get four different cards in your hand. Four. I don't feel like discarding all of them. Two, three, four, five. This is a saucy hand. <laughs> Thank you so much, Twisted, for the $5 donation. Appreciate it, Twisted. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. We're headed in Pokemon Communications in Krogunk. Won't be needing him. Get a coughing. Just in case you try to do something. I don't know what it is you could do, but just in case you try to do something. Could just evolve into Glarian Weezing, but just getting the other coughing. Just in case you do boss's order and knock out my only ditto. And then for sure. Just kind of waiting, so we'll just do that. We'll go ahead and bench the coughing. We're building spite, so I haven't done that yet. And we will anguish cry for a hundred. Okay. Hundred damage there at the spear two. Seems fine. Pretty Cross solid. Turn. I've got a pretty straightforward looking hand here. Let's just go ahead and use the Viridian. Yep. Get another energy. Um, I ended up getting a Toxtricity. Um, off my prizes because oh, the prize two. But very then good. Marnie did away. Ah, yes. less good. Rats. Well, you've reshuffled the deck. Yes. So let's uh, go energy here on to zero aura. And then I don't actually think that there's anything that I would rather knock out other than the active. So uh, I'm just going to check, see how many bosses orders. I only have three in this list. So I think I can afford to just research here. Because uh, the hand is three researches and a boss orders. So mm -hmm. it's like, kind of need to go. Right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Just to have some other options further down the line in the game. Uh, I'm going to Acro Bike. And this is good. Because <coughs> this, is good. This, is, this is just good. Yes, it's just the way it is. All right, we're going to grab a quick ball off the Acro Bike. And then we can let's see, do I have any lightning in the discard pile? Uh, I do not, just to speed lightning, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But I can quick ball away Trubbish and just get myself another Toxtricity B onto the bench. Seems good. And I think rather than leave my big old Toxtricity B max out in the active, mm -hmm. I don't know, I think I'd rather go in with Zero Aura. But that being said, like, uh, Zero Aura also is very important because it gives me mm -hmm. free treat, you know, free treats. I still think it. It feels optimal though, so we're just gonna do that. And uh, plasma fist, sure for knockout. Seems good. And I have my abilities because you don't have wheezing out. I do not have a wheezing out yet, which is a little concerning, but we'll get there. Probably could have held on to the coughing. Yeah, my hand is not great. Let's see if we can get something good off of this acro bike between a coughing and a wheezing. I wish I could have both. <laughs> 
I really wish I could have those. I cannot. Um, so, I have a Roxy. We're going to Roxy. We've got to draw cards. I think I've got to draw maximum cards, which means getting rid of my Spirit Tomb, unfortunately. But I do have the Blow Away Bomb to put some damage counters on everything. Draw three for the Weezing. Draw three for the Spirit Tomb. Pretty good. Did I get anything I needed? No. All right. Sick. <laughs> it's going to be a long road ahead of us. All right. Acrobike. There's some cards for sure. Could day day change. I mean, you just bosses where you're not going to bite the dead at some point, which doesn't seem ideal. Um, get rid of the research. Get rid of the dead -day. I think I'm going to hold the Dedenne or the Research. So I have a Roxy in my hand for next turn, I guess. Um, we're going to Acrobat again. We're hoping for a Weezing. And we got him. There he is. Beautiful. All right. Weezing. Thank you so much, Twisted66 in the chat for coming those down. gifted subs. Appreciate it. Energy coming down. Dust Island coming down. Okay. Got a coughing in play for next turn. I can't get into the crow gunk. I don't really have anything else to do. Severe poison for How much 80. We 80. 80 okay. in between turns. So, yep, I'm going to take six there and then up to three here. So mm -hmm. I'm at 150. And the Dust Island is now in play. I do not have abilities. Mm -hmm. All right. Draw. And we will speed lightning onto this new guy over mm -hmm. here. Draw two cards. So two very good cards to have drawn there <laughs> off of that, that's for sure. So in order to play around the uh, ability lock and the poison, we definitely have to, uh, uh, we're going to end up using boss's orders for sure. For so sure. We're going to boss's orders up with Topsy Crow. And Can now you? I have my abilities back. So I'm going to quick ball uh, away the lightning and just take a look at the deck. Get it to Denny out of the deck and into my hand. Sure thing. And then... I will also play Viridian down. Sure thing. And use Viridian, discard a lightning. Sure thing. And fail it. Okay. And then while I do have my abilities, I'm going to use Tapu Koko's Dance of the Ancients. Send it to the Lost Zone. We're going to send a lightning mm -hmm. energy to the Toxtricity V. And we're also going to put one onto you to Denny. Um, did I use I use Zero Aura's GX attack this game? Did I not? Or was that last yes, game? Yes, you did. Yes, I believe yes, I did. did. Yes, I did. Yes, for sure. Yes. So I got to flip that GX counter. Cool. Then uh, I do have my abilities, so I can retreat. I don't maintain poison. I've used my stuff. Uh, feels like turn to just attack with my Toxtricity V Max. Seems so we're just going to G Max Riot for 160. Sounds good. Yep. I'm going to put the Weezing up. We're drawn for turns. Pretty okay top deck. Let's see here. One, two, three. So I still have energy in the deck, which is good. I don't need to attach an energy this turn, which is also good. Um, we're going to go ahead and play a Mysterious Treasure, discarding a Dark Energy. Very good. We're going to get ourselves... Pro Gunk, I believe is my only valid target in the deck. Wish I could get my ordinary rod and I've gotten another wheezing. I'm going to get a wheezing and get this Roxy off. Well, another wheezing to follow it up. With. Playing against non GX decks is exhausting. I feel like I've done a ton <laughs> of stuff. You and have. I, and I have three prizes left still. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and play Roxy. Okay. We're going to discard. To, can't, you can't, can't do that. You can't do that. That's yep. fine. We have it for later. We're going to get rid of those two. Okay, so no damage. No damage. Six cards, though. Yep. Would have loved to do some damage, but... Wasn't the cards. All right, let's see here. I can. Pokemon Communications with the Dene back into the deck. And grab a Toxicroak. So you're running out of stuff. It's probably gonna get play this ordinary rod as well to get some things back into the deck. We're gonna get a probably both the spirit tombs back. I think we're just gonna go like spirit tomb, a 
dark energy. I'm going to choose both. Both sides of the ordinary rod. I'm going to get the spirit tomb, a dark energy. I have a coffee in play. One, two, three. I'm pretty sure there's one left in the deck. Pretty sure there's one left in the deck. Um, get an energy, get a spirit tomb, get the other spirit tomb. I think we're just going to do that. Sounds good. Seems good. Just get him back in the deck. I'm also going to play. Brilliant Force? I don't need to play Brilliant Force. Uh, we're going to play Quick Ball, discarding Mysterious Treasure. Grab ourselves a Spirit Tomb back out of the deck. Or the other Weezing in the deck. So I can evolve that if I want to. I'm going to go grab him. Bench that guy, build some spite, evolve the Toxicroak. Yep. Attach for turn and severe poison for 80. 80. 80 All poison. Right. And then uh, uh, we, we have six and one. Six and one. Yeah. Thank, thank you for the math oh, assistance there. Lay up there, Matt. Very good. Of course. And poison. All right. Drop a turn. And we've got some options over here. So very let's good. See. Couldn't get a Dust Island, unfortunately. Would have been very nice. Still have just a lot. I mean, things are going down. It's it's starting to happen, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, you know, I only got one boss's orders left. Mm -hmm. If I keep this poison, uh, we're going to be hurting, that's for sure. I know I've got no energy left in my deck, so mm -hmm. let's just... Uh, just do it. Uh, it feels. Let's see. A couple more turns. And I don't think so long as I maybe lead with non three prize Pokemon, maybe just save the Toxtra mm -hmm. CV Max for last, I should be chilling. So I think we're just going to boss his orders up a Toxicroak. Sounds good. And we now have our abilities available to us. Um, I'm not going to data change. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards left. Data change seems like a. Sweet Seems pretty good to me. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so we're going to count our own Viridian with uh, the Montagna. Seems good. Yeah, so we're going to retreat All right. into our Toxtricity V, Seems who okay. is going to Venom Slap for knockout. Oh, very good. Yes, 120 damage. Oh, very cool. Venom Slap, you're poisoned. Poison Been thoroughly slapped. Yes. Let's go. Let's, let's go. And there he goes. We got the Venom Slap Toxtricity up in here, chat. I'm getting Venom Slapped. Uh, I guess we'll just promote the wheezing. We could promote the spear tomb instead. Let's see. Let's see. I want to counter your stadium. I'm gonna retreat. Take a knock. Out. I think I'm just a couple turns behind. The thing about the deck is it just takes a long time to get going. Well, you've got a lot of damage on board. You're getting a lot of damage if you on could board. Clean this up, you know, somehow. Like if I had something like Dusknor. That yes. moves damage around. Yes. Sinister hand. If I had, there's a Pokemon that does that. Right, is an attack. I don't remember what it is. I'm pretty sure there's one that does that. I got a Galarian. Is it Mimikyu or is it Mimikyu? Tapu Lele. That's it. Yes, Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele. Yep. Which I could play Tapu Lele. You could play a Professor's Receipt. Yeah, because Tapu Lele, I could play Tapu Lele. In this right. deck for sure. Because you, the you would need a counter gain. Okay. Counter gain uh, yeah, and, and a rainbow. rainbow. Yep. Or there's also the unit that does fairy, dark, and fighting. It's true. So but you already play rainbows. But you're already playing rainbows. So yeah. just up the rainbow count, put in a Tapu yeah. Lele, and just do a magical swap at some point. Yeah, that seems yeah, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that would seem pretty good. Seems I actually good. would be pretty upset pretty if you rearranged <laughs> all these damage counters. <laughs> I would, uh -huh. That feels like it would be pretty good. I got the Dust Mountain now. So I think maybe you go into that. Maybe you just play like, some counter gains or something like that. Going in, that could be fun. I we'll think so. Kind of look into that a little bit more. I'll look into that a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Got the Dust Mountain. Got that. We can build some spite. We can do that for sure. Uh, we can quick ball away at Pokemon communication just to see what's in the deck. Let's see. I got a Spear Tomb. I got a Rainbow Energy. I got a U Turn board. Guess we'll grab a Spear Tomb. Let's see any reason why not. That well, I'm also running out of cards. Yeah, so here. But I think you will run out of through our decks and we executed our strategies. So yes. you know what? At least we got that. It seems pretty good yeah. to me. I'm out. For sure. Build some spite. 
I have a dark energy. There's a rainbow in the deck. Gonna go ahead and play this guy. We will primate wisdom. Yeah, you got like three cards. Three cards. <laughs> We're running out, but I think you'll, you'll run out of prizes before I run out of deck. Probably. So, not too terribly concerned about it. Um. We're going to go ahead and promote or attach to Spear to Sure. Yeah, you only have two prize cards left. That's fine. We'll go ahead and put this down on Toxicroak. And we will severe poison for 60. 60 yeah, poison. All right. It's Annie's poison. Mm -hmm. Draw for turn. And Dust Island means that I'm keeping that poison. No matter, no matter what. what. But that's fine. Toxicity. He might just be oh, able to handle it. Well, but he, he gets there with the poison. He does get there. Flat, does get there with the poison. Yeah, using the using my poison right. against me. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Well, I do not think that the electrifier, yeah, it's not going to matter. All right. We're just going to use it, uh, the attack. And I do, actually. Yep, take six back. Yep. But should be okay because I've got right. two Pokemon built up on my bench. Promote Toxicroak. Draw for turn. Primate Wisdom. Ah, it was not the rainbow. You can't even get maximum damage out of my spirit. You can build some spite. Uh, I think that's probably about all I can do. 90, 100. Can I at least knock you out? That'd make me feel a little bit better. When I use a 130. Oh, yeah, I can knock you out. Oh, yeah. For sure. Let's, let's just go ahead. I'm going to play Professor's Research. <laughs> into the last two cards. We'll draw into the last two cards of my deck. I'll attach a rainbow. I will retreat and um, take a knockout. We are going to anguish cry for knockout. You gotta just, you know, you gotta stay patient you gotta, a little bit. Yeah. You gotta do it. You gotta just you to gotta take the prizes. It. Just right? to take the prize card. For sure. Uh, yeah, so the Toxtricity V does go down, but I just there have, goes. you know, uh, the, the Zero Aura Plastic Fist, plastic fist for game. So, for games for sure. Now, Matt, this was your first uh, battle experience mm -hmm. with the. Wheezing deck, mm -hmm. tell us your thoughts after playing some games with it. It's a lot of fun. It does seem fun. I'm having a good time playing it. I think, uh, I don't know about these Roxies. I don't know if they're necessary. <laughs> I don't know if they add a whole lot. I don't lot. think you got a lot of value out right. of them. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, in theory, you do. You don't play a lot of Glaring Wheezing, so you can get rid of coughings more. For you sure. know, you have access to the other Wheezing, so. You know, you're already naturally playing it, so that you know my thought was, I'm already playing this. I can just play this for sure. Uh, play the wheezing along with the coughing, but I think overall, probably unnecessary. You can probably just take out the Roxies, add in four other supporter cards, and then you get to pinch the three. You know, and then uh, pinch the three wheezing. So you yep. can put in a Lele with the magical swap. Seems really good. I couldn't remember good. what card it was. I was gonna add it. That could not remember what. Card. Yeah, yeah, Lele with a Lele counter gain. Lele with a counter yep. gain, and you're getting there at in the third or fourth. Ring. Maybe just for sure, because you're going to go behind on prizes. Right. So you could also play some toolboxy type stuff, or maybe you play uh, the copycat Mimikyu as well right. with the counter gain and a rainbow. Mm -hmm. You know, now all of a sudden you have, uh, if I hit you mm -hmm. for 160, you can kind of surprise back with the, you know, swing for, for sure. 160. I think know, that would be good. You have these different kinds of toolboxes. I have those kinds options. of thoughts. Maybe like a... Uh, Maybe Kogus Trap on turns where you just have a bunch of Toxicroaks in play, and you can go right. into the Spirit Tomb just to get that extra damage. But and I think, if you could, if you could pull off the Kogus Trap while attacking with somebody who's not uh, Weezing, right. that'd be sick too. It yeah. seems insane. Yeah, uh, but I think this deck is a lot of fun. I think it's really sure. cool. Uh, I, I think it it could be, you know, a decent a decent tier three Thursday deck. Oh, for sure. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for building that for, for us, sure. Matt. If you are watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and check out the Twitch stream where I'm probably doing the Marathon Rebel Clash mm -hmm. release party on Twitch right now. So go check that out if you are on YouTube, twitch.tv slash tricky gym. Also, make sure to check out fullgripcodes.com where we have instant PTCGO code delivery supporting the shop, directly supports content we create here on Tricky Gym. So thanks so much for watching the video.